Hi, how's it going, guys? Um, so I haven't posted something in a while. Um, I did post um, one thing that was um, uh, my art portfolio, and so I just kind of compiled all my art together and uh, actually did a new one that's not in that video. Yeah, look at that. Kakashi, so that's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, if you haven't already guessed the, what that um, artwork came from, it came from the Kakashi book, and um, yeah, this was a really good book. I actually enjoyed it more than the uh, Sasuke book. Um, it was, I think, well, I think it's harder to compare them because, you know, Sasuke's um, book, novel, whatever, actually has an anime to go with it, and so does Shikamaru's. And there's not a min uh, the rest of the books that, you know, in the series don't have that anime to follow or a movie or anything. Um, but the Kakashi one is great on its own. It's kind of like a little bit of a, a thriller at first with Mike Guy. Kind of, so I, I should summarize first and um, then I'll get into the review. But um, So the book is about uh, Kakashi um, gets onto this ship that um, they brought back the bridge builder from like the very first arc of Naruto ever. And the bridge builder and... Um, and the little boy, Anari, actually end up going to, um, uh, they talk about, they talk about building this giant blimp, you know, like what we have, but it's even bigger and all that. And they end up building the blimp, um, and they have a big ceremony and stuff, and so Ka Kakashi goes on there, and he's kind of, before he goes on there, though, he's not feeling the whole six Hokage thing, even though Naruto says that, you know, um, Tsunade is a bad Hokage, and she's older, and, you know, she needs to retire, and, like, even Tsunade probably knows that deep down she's gonna retire, um, but actually, it's, to go back, it starts with this, um, uh, Naruto fights this guy named Garu, Garu, or, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but he ends up fighting him, and it's weird, there's a guy named Garu, Ryu, and Kai, Kaiyu? And they're all kind of like this gang of like people, and they're kind of cool because they support. They actually, they're like Madara's dream was actually our dream, and it made sense. And they have gripe, like you know, they were saying that you know that all the medics were out in the war, and you know there wasn't any medics, you know, back home, and so they en they ended up uh, having a few deaths because there wasn't any doctors to help people there. So that's pretty interesting. Uh, Obito gets mentioned throughout here because, you know, Kakashi's, you know, talking to him still, kind of. Um, but it's pretty cool because Kakashi comes on there, comes onto the blimp, and, you know, starts, you know, kicking some butt. And, uh, you know, he ends up fighting this Kaiyu Ice-style user, which is, like, very reminiscent of Haku and stuff. And, and then she kind of breaks down eventually, you know, and eventually tells him all the stuff that she went through. And it's pretty sad. And Ryu is just... Some idiot who like doesn't you know he's just a follower and he doesn't really care and he just wants to get Gairu and they have this master plan of of using all the the blue powder from the ship um, like this like smoke powder to blow up um, the castle which this castle the Hazuki Hazuki I don't know how to say that either the castle that was in Naruto Blood Prison movie they actually made that canon because this is in this book and this book's canon. Anyways, it's in there, and it's it's pretty good, like, it, it's a pretty good plan by, you know, the villains, actually, except for the fact that, you know, they have Kakashi on there and all that. They, they know that Naruto's so overpowered that he can't even be in this book at all, because he's just ridiculous, and Sasuke is, you know, whatever, you know, they don't even know about him, apparently. Um, and so, it's pretty interesting to me that, you know, the Kakashi thing goes on. He, you know, him just taking these guys out, he even, at one point, he drinks all this milk and throws it up and uses it as an excuse to break out, you know, have, and to, uh, to fight, um, Ryu and Ka Kaiyu again, and it's honestly pretty cool to, to see Kakashi kick butt and all that, and, and use a different, you know, not a Chidori, a purple light, a violet bolt, um, that we saw, and it's actually used in the Baruto episode, probably like 18 or 19, 18 or 19 now. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a really good book. Um, at the end of the time, you know, at the end of the, at the end of it, you know, Kakashi uses the rain to put out this thing because the, the ship goes down, the blimp goes down, you know, of course, Kaiyu comes, comes around and says, you know, I don't want any more people to die, you know, she even saves this boy with asthma, so I, 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 you know, I sympathize with her character and stuff. 
And, you know, after the, you know, it went down, he kind of decided to become Hokage, and even Tsunade gave him um, a Hokage, like, jacket right there. Like, that's how official it was. Um, and, you know, it's kind of cool because we don't get to see very much of Higashi now that in Baruto at all, and we never get to see him as Hokage, so, you know, except for the last, but that's not much. Um, but it, it, I think it's pretty cool. I, I definitely I think it's better than the Sasuke one. Um, but, I mean, Sasuke's book was pretty good. I, I'd say, I don't know, I'd say it's probably a 90, 90 out of 100. So, like, you know, I'm not going to spoil everything about the book, but um, I definitely kind of thought there was, like, even tension between Kaiyu and Kakashi. I wonder if um, they ended up together. Maybe. Probably not. Um, it'd be kind of nice to see Kakashi with somebody since he's been through so much pain. Um... But yeah, I mean, what did you, what, what did anyone else think? Uh, is what I kind of want to know. Um, I know this book's pretty old; it came out like February twenty fifteen. But you know, you know, with school and everything, I'm just just getting to it now. Um, but yeah, um, I'll be kind of releasing a, a schedule of what kind of videos I'll be making in the future. But until um, then.